no deal. I'm Jaws on the beat, I've got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill. Hello guys, it's Unders. Hopefully, as you can see, we are in Logic Pro. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can make our drum kit using the sampler and then have it so it's pre-set up, ready to roll. So we've already got, say, our channels loaded, the effects on it we most regularly use. Instead of building the kit each time, we can just load up this and we're ready to roll and start making music. So let me show you how that works. We're gonna start off today by just opening up a multi sampler. So if we go into our little options here, we've got a sampler, we want the multi sample and we're gonna choose multi output as well. Then in here where it says multi timbral, we're gonna open up this and this is completely up to you, but something like 16 is probably gonna be enough or we could do eight just for today's demo purposes. I'll show you how it works. Hell, you can go all the way up to 64 if you want and have massive kits always loaded. For today, I'll do eight parts just so I can show you how to make some kits and buy the effects and save it all as a preset so it loads up for you every single time. So let's create that. As you can see, it creates an instrument and some instrument tracks coming off of it for us, those eight channels in total. Now we're gonna work off of the top one and that's where the sampler's loaded. However, you can see, you can grab any of these and it's got the sampler on it for us. Let's open up this guy just here and we don't need our synth, we don't need our mod matrix, we don't need our modulators, we just need mapping and zone. So let's grab our samples that we're gonna use. It's very simple, a drag and drop process. You can do it inside Logic. So I will press F and this might vary for you, but I'm gonna to go to all files little computer icon at the top. I grab my drive where I keep all my samples, this Lacey drive here. I've then got a sample archive and I'm just going to use a free library which I can also link below for you so you can pick it up as well if you wanted. And then we're just going to grab some samples. I'm just going to grab kick one. So I use that regularly and maybe I want to assign it just uh, over here on C2. Now we drop that, however it always drops over a few different keys. We can just use these handles here just to bring that down. Now, while I put the other samples in for the magic of this kit to be built, you know how that process works. <coughs> now, you know how that process works. You don't need to see it a million times. Once you've got all this sorted out, today's channel sponsor can help you get your music out to the world. DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast efficiently and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. Due to the magic of editing, I've now got just some very simple drums loaded in. And that's all good. If that's all you need, you can just save that and you've got your kit ready to roll. However, instead we want these to have their own individual channels and be ready to roll every single time. So how do we do that? What we need to do is look at our groups option here, right? What we can do is do something like call this kick one, and then we're gonna go group new, 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 new. And we just call that kick so we know where that first one's gonna stay. And what we need to do is bring the samples into their own individual groups to give them their own individual outputs, right? So this kick, let's call it kick one because we've got two kicks in this group. So kick one's where everything currently is. We've currently got our snare one on here, right? All right. Super easy. We're going to highlight this guy, lift it up, drag it over to snare one. That now lives in snare one. Same process right the way across. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll notice that they're all still assigned to the same keys. They've just got their own groups. So you can still play them all and they still show up in the same place. They've just got individually things named. Nice thing now, we can solo them out as well. Okay, so now we need to assign each group its own output. So kick one, we've got going to three to four, which is the first set of outputs. Snare one still says main. We're gonna set that to the next set of outputs and I'm gonna send snare two to five, six as well. And we'll send our hats to the next one. And we've hopefully then got a nice example of what's going on. Okay, so in terms of the mixer and just understanding how that works, if we press X real quick, it brings up the mixer by default. We've got inst one here. Let's take the moment to rename this and call it HH DRMS for hip hop drums. We've now got this little plus next to here, right? Let's drop that open. Let's open up three of them. It will by default assign it to those channels, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So now, kick shows up on there. Hi-hat shows up in there. Snare shows up in there. All right, how useful is that? That means we can rename them and they're all correctly assigned. Now, what about all these channels up here? Why on earth did I do that? Well, this very simply allows us to build a program out very, very quickly where we can sequence them in. Rather than doing it all in one sequence, we can do something really simply like this. I could make this a kick channel 
have it be controlled in here. Next one can be snap. And because they're all linked up to the mixer, we're just ready to roll. Now let's say we put effects on these. Let's just stick uh, an EQ and compressor on the main channel. And let's do my lovely classic VCA because I love that guy. All right, so let's save our sampler preset now. Going to this guy, we've built that as we like it. Hey, yours can be way more complex than this, just for an example purpose. Um, super simple, literally. Go up here, hit save as. I'm going to call it 8H drums like we did before. Stick it in your own sampler templates. Boom, that's going to be in there for us. It renames it for us, HH drums. We need to do the same thing with what we just did with the mixer as well. So we can close that down. And when we've got HH drums selected in this section over here, Go up into settings, save channel strip settings as, I'm going to do the same thing, right? HHDRMS. And for proof of concept, let's load up a completely new project, right? So completely fresh project, software instrument, multi-sampler, multi-timbral, eight, create, beautiful. Go to the sampler, awesome, HH drums, load that up, boom, those are now ready to roll. What about the mixer? Well, those aren't there, but what we can do is go settings, HH drums, just like so, and those are now ready. So guys, that is the most simple, basic way that you can put together and save a sampled drum kit inside Logic. We could actually go so much deeper, but for the meantime, this should keep you going. But this should absolutely get you what you need and, <clears throat> and get your workflow going a lot quicker. I hope it's been helpful. If not, guys, throw it in the comments, let me know, and I'll do a way more advanced series on this. Look forward to seeing you in future videos.